No, I need the Atticers. It's gonna happen one day. One day. Well, no, we know when it's like a movie. Yeah, no, yeah, that's fair. But still, you remember when we were on Matt and Drew's and they were like all gave a nice synopsis of the movie and like named all the actors. I was like, wow, they're so professional. They also record sober, which we're doing for the <laughs> first time in ages because we've switched to daytime recording. It's very unnatural. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Welcome to Horror and Heels, everybody. Yeah, the girls have switched to daytime recording of this podcast, so they're sober. <laughs> Anything can happen today, guys. Gotta be honest. Anything could happen. Um, Thanks for coming back. We know we took a little short hiatus. Hand. It was very necessary. Jen and I feel better than ever. Ever. Um, or better, either way. Just <laughs> don't really know where on the end. We're fervently preparing for Texas Frightmare Weekend. Yes. Jen's wondering which outfit she should wear to attempt to hook up with Skeet Ulrich in. So. <laughs> a lot of options she's packing. Right. And I hope Skeet's prepared. prepared. Yeah. Um, yeah. Robert England will be there. Oh, I think God, this right where we get is going to be awful. I know. It's going to be fantastic. Um, so... Well, like, like, all, like, all of the screen people. All the screen people. Have you seen the new screen? I have not yet. I need to. I was waiting for my brothers, so now that it's streaming, I guess we'll get together and watch it. Yeah, see, now that it's streaming, I will. I don't. You know me, I don't go to the theater. Um, twelve ninety nine to not even be able to pee where I want. And twelve ninety nine is cheap. Listen. Yeah, it's like 20 bucks here. Yeah, to not, e- not be able to pee when I want during a film. See, streaming... Stri- Streaming and COVID really destroyed me because I hated the whole idea of movies. And once they made it that that wasn't a thing, I'm like, why are we going backwards? Yeah, <laughs> I love going to theaters, theaters if people want to go. But let's let's do both. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with having both because I love. Going I both. like options in life. Mm-hmm. Well, it depends on the movie. Like, right. Some movies I don't need to see, like rom coms. I don't need to see those in theaters. I can watch a rom com at home. Although I am currently watching West Side Story. I took, I I don't know why I put it on when I put it on, knowing we were recording today. I was just like, oh my God, that's on HBO Max. Hit it up. And I wasn't paying, so now I paused. Uh, This, I wish I had gone and seen in the theaters only because the cinematography on this is, oof. Really? Spielberg, you have, I'm only, I'm not even up to the dance scene. And it is stellar. Interesting. Yeah. Um, if you know anything, Jen's like, which dance scene? It's based on a Broadway musical. Aren't all the scenes <laughs> dancing? Yes, but there is an iconic dance scene. I'm not up to that yet, and the cinematography is. Yeah. Oh, I know about the, yeah, the dance scene. But no, Jen is completely right that it's a Broadway musical, and. We've already had several dances. <laughs> um, at one point, they're just dancing in the street. Um, and also, I love this cast. They are knocking it out of the park. And just, I was a girl who did a town production of West Side Story. And even when I just hear the immediate the snapping. snap, these guys, for some reason, they have managed to look tough while just snapping in unison with their friends, which is <laughs> That's hard to it's, do. It's, it is hard to do, yes. Um, so, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and Jen and I couldn't see, sit through another Leprechaun movie th- this year. Yeah, no. So we, we just did the next best thing and went for an Irish movie. A movie set in Ireland, yes. Um, and we picked Isolation which takes place on a remote cow farm in Ireland. And um, we pull up and we see a and Orlan, who is a nice young vet, very pretty blonde woman. First of all, this part of Ireland, just atrocious weather the entire movie, just want to knock that out of the park. 
they were never not in wellies and rightfully so is coming to check on a cow um yeah. she is the local vet and um we happen upon the cow owners dan and they go to check the cow we see a cow sonogram being warning don't eat when you watch this movie See, no. Jen said this, and this one, <laughs> as opposed to the bay, this one I was fine with. Oh, I mean, I just, were you eating, though? Yeah. Oh, I was like, oh. I, I mean, it wasn't, like, terrible. Cookies. Huh? I had myself quite a few cookies. Cookies is good, but when you're eating, like, Chipotle with steak. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe yeah. not eating meat. Maybe like, not Or eating anything meat. juicier with, yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see your point, yeah. Yeah, I um, was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So they um, just go right into it. And when I say into it, I mean the cow. Just the cow. I mean, is this listen, I there's so want... much steam. Well, <laughs> steam yeah. everywhere. Oh, okay. Anyway. No, I don't think it was steam. I think that was fog from all the rain. <laughs> no, it was I mean there was a lot of rain, but no, it was steaming because of all the heat from the body stuff. But anyway, keep going, keep going. <laughs> How did I miss the steam? What I don't know. On? Um, but anyway, she, uh, God bless any large animal veterinarian because uh, she was elbow deep in that animal. I could never, could never. Could never. I don't care how long the gloves are. I could have a full body condom on and still, mm -mm. Not for me. Not (laughs) for me. And whatever was inside that cow, um, at this point, we assume it's a calf. We will find out some things <laughs> later on. Bites her. And I want to go on record as saying that if TJ had bitten my doctor while he was inside of me in a way that drew blood, that would have been a nope for me. Yeah. Which, I just uh, let's, let's, let's. Let's handle this right now. Because also, do cows not have a placenta? Right? Like, why is it just out in the open like that? Yeah, like, did it pierce its placental wall? So many questions. And and it bit through her through her glove and, and drew blood. And he was like, let me get something for her. She's like, no, I'm okay. I'm sorry, your hand was in an animal's body and you don't think you should disinfect that? Got a tetanus shot out of men? <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure. At least. Right? Right? But I no, she's going to play tough guy. I'm like, Oh, no, ma'am. Not tetanus. What's the one? Rabies? Oh, like rabies, mad cow disease? Cow. Yeah, just, just a plethora of, of shots and inoculations. <laughs> I, if, if something inside a cow had bitten me i would be going to the nearest hospital and being like listen every shot for every disease a bowl of give it to me all of them just give it yes you haven't traveled to africa doesn't matter something inside the cow <laughs> bit me bit just me. give me it. <laughs> it could be swine flu it could be west nile virus it could be what's the one, minute what's the one that you get you get the shot you have to get to Meningitis. go to africa Meningitis. No, yeah. malaria. That's the one. Yeah. I don't even that's care it. that that just comes from mosquitoes, people. Nope. Nope. Doesn't By matter. By the way. Make me a concoction. A cocktail. Speaking of, um, if you consider a mosquito part of the animal kingdom, my dad and I went into a huge debate. They outnumber shark deaths per year. Oh, they are taking out human numbers in just... They are just Gross. doing it to the humans. The shark, they got, the sharks have nothing on them. The sharks are like, we're not, the sharks aren't even close. I have to tell you people, look at the numbers. They're not even close. Dogs, chomp shark. Sharks have been. That's because you have to go to the shark. Once again, we've had this discussion many <laughs> times. To the shark people. You have to go to the shark to get killed by the shark. You're not minding your own business when you get killed by a shark. You were. Yeah. In their territory, where they're at, a mosquito. You, there's the mosquitoes you are that. everywhere. As as two women who live beachside, we will yeah. tell you the mosquito is everywhere. Yeah, they come to you, little bastards. They come to you, and you, 
they come to you and you have a citronella candle, three non-scented like thingies, you've got tiki torches going, everybody in your group is wearing off, and they still want to join your party. They're like, ha ha, no bitch, I'm here to eat. I'm here. (laughs) Not great. So, um, so that happens, and then he walks down the road and says to two people in a camper that they can't be there. We think that they are trespassing, um, or something. Yeah. We find out they are not. Um, and when they close the door, you are wondering why these people are hiding here. Um, they say they can't go back to the road. Um, that they will find them. Yeah. I I don't know if you thought it would be um, police. I I, I mean, when I hear they, I just yeah, I thought they meant, yeah. Um, we find out later that they did not mean authorities, but we'll get there. Um, and then we meet. Do you remember his name? The doctor. Dan. No, nope. Dan is and the cow, mo- cow. Dan is the, the cow guy. Ah, oh, jeez. Jen and I swore when we came back we'd be. But you know what? <laughs> Professionalism is not what you listen to us for. So as we've gone over many times. <laughs> At least we hope it's not because. Is it John? Uh, it's John. It's John. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. Played by a man named Marcel. Lure. Um, and he comes and whoa, first of all, once you see biological testing on, first of all, who is just putting that on the side of their car? Don't (laughs) public service announcement. Don't do that. Um, also I'm looking at the IMDB for this and I'd like to say that, whoa, did the guy that played Jamie, sorry, Sean Harris, you didn't age well. You didn't age well, or this is not a good picture of you, my friend. Oh, well, now he'll never come on the show. <laughs> Did, were we inviting him? I, just, just <laughs> I didn't think we were. Mm. Okay. I don't think he's that bad. But, um. Are you seeing this picture? <laughs> oh, no. Wait, first of all, you're all the way to the side. No, this is the picture I'm looking at. Oh, that's a much better picture than they gave me here of Jamie. Yeah, yeah, don't trust Google. Google doesn't give a crap about you. Oh, okay. IMDb keeps it nice, usually. Okay, gotcha. Okay, sorry about that, Sean. <laughs> just a bad picture. My apologies, my friend. Um, I did caveat with saying it could just be a bad picture. Yeah, you I did. I feel like I covered my ass. Um, this guy, Doctor of Island Moreau Fields, will come and offer him the second he closed that door. He's yelling at Dan that those people on the road need to go. We need privacy. Oh, good sir. What do you need so much privacy for? Right. Could it be that you're trying to play God? I don't know why people think that's a cool thing to do. Don't. Never never turns out well. No. Um, And uh, so he comes and looks at the cow and... He says that everything's okay, but dude, I don't think it is. I mean, the fetus inside the cow bit someone, so I'm going to go in the direction of no. You know how they have, like, the graph charts? Did the thing get bit? (laughs) Did the thing (laughs) bite you while your hand was inside? Yes, then go down to the next path. Things are not okay. (laughs) Yes, exactly. (laughs) Um, And uh, we find out that the good John is also not paying people as he said he yeah. would we find out that dan through course of conversation has taken this on in attempts to save his father's farm um this took place in this movie is from 2005 so um, i would have required a deposit or a down payment of some sort all the down you know <laughs> really, really upfront, all the money up I mean, front. Before you're sticking a needle in my cow, I'm going to need a all lot money, of money. Like, yeah. So and the deposit day, to cover the cow when it dies, because this experimental stuff does not sound legit. No. Yeah. Orlo 
goes to John, Orla, I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing her name wrong, Orla, goes to John, I think we should terminate. He says, we are absolutely not terminating, blah, 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 blah. Orla's like, no, I think we should. (laughs) And he says no. And she makes Dan promise her to call her the second the cow goes into labor. Yeah. Later on that night, that happens, but Dan cannot get a hold of Orla. He runs down the road to Jamie, and Jamie goes and helps him. That scene was intense. Oh. We're not even there yet. <laughs> I mean, they are just doing the most, and um, like they've like they've got the little hooves tied up with a rope, trying to yank it out. I was like, oh my god. I can't even imagine. I was. I don't get squirmish that easily. That I was like. Ooh. That I was a little squirmish about. Yeah. Yeah. As a woman who has a child, I was like, no. Yeah. I was like, just push it back in. I'd be like, nope, it's not ready yet. Just push it back in. Well, he, and here's the other thing is that I've seen videos of like n- we've all seen the adorable video. The cow the just little calf he, just plops out. He plops out, and two seconds later, he's walking. He's like, oh, yeah, he's all gangly so, and he's cute. So you already know that if this is happening, something is going terribly wrong in Horribly the wrong. Process. process. Because typically these things just flow Animals right just out. Animals give birth out in, out in the yeah, wilderness they, all they the time. If a human, need, they need zero assistance. If, if a human and contraptions need to get involved, it's not going well. No. Like, and they had full-on cranks and ropes. It was... It was a full mousetrap thing going on. But I have to give Jamie credit. He just got in there and helped. Zero questions asked. He really did. So they go through all this. They finally, finally get the cow out. Laying on the ground. He's listening. He's saying it's not breathing. I was not ready for what happened (laughs) for this part. He's like, it's not breathing. So I'm thinking, okay, he's going to like do some kind of cow CPR. He does. Let me tell you what cow CPR is. It is taking the calf by its hind legs and swinging it around. And I was not ready for that. I was like, oh my God. I was like, is he going to like slam it against the wall or something? Um, I'm not a veterinarian, but I'm not entirely sure that that's 100% accurate. I, I uh, you know, again, but I'm also not a farmer. So I was like, maybe that's a thing. That we should, I'm going to look it up right now. Keep talking. I'm going to see if that's actually the way. You want me to keep talking about this scene of swinging <laughs> cow while you, okay. I thought you had something else to say. I, I was a shocked. A cow was swinging. What more could I have to say? Like he flung, I thought he was going to like, I thought he was going to, what do you call that? The, I was going to, okay. The Olympics thing. What do you call that? So Mary comes in during all of this. And um, she she gets close to the cow. And uh, Dan realizes something's not right here. And immediately pulls her back. Yeah. Dan has gotten cut. He is now cut. And he is like, no, something's wrong. And he pulls her back and latches it. And kind of waits for Orla at this point. He's like, we just got to wait for Orla. Orla will be here eventually. Um, Orla comes, which, by the way, S.C. Davis. Um, brunette is the hair color for her, I will say. S.C. Oh. looked fantastic as a blonde. Oh, yeah. She looked very pretty as a blonde. I'm not saying, I'm just saying brunette is the hair color for her. Uh, Orla comes. And they have to put the calf out of its misery. Orla knows right away something is wrong. But it's yeah. Something is wrong, but it's uh not going well. Um I'm just gonna speak up why it's not going well. Why is it not going well? Because the calf has um six babies inside of it which are parasites. Okay. It's got yeah these malformed parasite contractions and or he, was trying, he was trying to make it so that newborn calves could already have calves to kind of speed up. Mm. Yeah. Orla, no, no, no. That's what the experiment was. No, it was, was he- that they could um, speed up the gestation period 
and so and Orla goes, something has gone horribly wrong. So it wasn't no. that young calves were supposed to get pregnant. It's that the gestation period between um cycles would be short. So instead, I don't mm. know what a cow's gestation period is, but let's yeah. just say it's humans. So instead of a human only being able to have a baby every nine months, they would be able to have a calf, a baby every, say, four months. They okay. were supposed to speed up the gestation process. Okay. Yeah. So she's like, so back to where we were. Yeah, she's uh, trying to kill the cat. cat. <laughs> Wait, let me just make sure. Make faster growing cattle. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But one yeah, of the side they're effects just supposed was to grow quicker. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. one of the side effects was that cow was pregnant, like you said, with parasites. Okay. With something wrong. Um, they current. They technically. I mean, I wouldn't call them parasites. They're deformed. Their skeletons are outside their body. Oh, it was so gross. I mean, yeah, it was. It was the textbook definition of not good. Um, they look like all teeth almost, like because the bridge oh, and the bones. It, oh. And one of those bad boys goes missing. Well, first they think, oh, they're just dead little things. And then all of a sudden, one of them moves, which yeah. I was also not ready for that. Because I was thinking this was like a pathogen movie. I thought it was going to oh, be okay. like disease. But of course, you didn't because you probably read the thing. Actually, I didn't, but thanks for assuming. <laughs> What? I'm trying to be every a better time, Alicia in the time next I, Every time I don't think that you read it, then you go, of course, you know that I read it. So <laughs> this time I, I assume that you read it. A new leaf in the new. Okay. In the new. Okay. I didn't. I wasn't ready for Creature Feature, which I found that exciting when it moved. I was like, oh, okay. We got an actual little monster here. Whoa. He does not stay little. <laughs> no. By no means. Um... So, um, Orla goes out to try to get help or something. Um, oh, she goes out to try to get help. Dan goes, they've killed the original calf. She thinks those things are not real. Mm -hmm. She wraps them up, puts them, takes them to the scientist's lab, the calf and the fetuses. And she does not realize while she's while her and Dan were arguing and stuff about um the expert about John's experiments that this um Dan was like I was told this testing was to help something like mitigate disease and stuff. You guys were very unhonest with me. Yeah. Uh yes. Once again. Mm. Probably you should have seen, I don't know, any other movie. <laughs> any they are one. not. Just assume they are like a door-to-door -door salesman. They're not telling you the full story. Especially Probably. if they're coming to you, a rural farm, and they're looking for someone who needs money. Like, yes, that's, that's a red flag right there. Yes, because if these people were on the up and up, every high-earning cow farm would happily have. They would get a grant. One or two of their cows to science for the sole purpose of helping to end disease amongst the plight of the cattle. Right. People would be signing up. You could get <laughs> so they the don't cows. need to come find you in your they failing farm. Sign it up, take the tax credit, and be on their merry way. Give you yeah. their cows. Fine. So Dan is back in the house, and uh, obviously he has gotten bitten, we see. And he is not looking good. Also, when oh, we... Yeah, didn't it bite his finger off? Is that, is that the part? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been... Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Um, just like Orla was not looking so great, Dan starts not looking so hot. Um, so Jamie very lovingly offers to go out and feed the cattle for Dan, mm -hmm. which I thought was very nice. And um, while he's out, Mary looks after Dan and we find out the reason. Cause I'm like, when he started letting these people in their house, I thought they were criminals of some sort when they yeah. were on saying they're coming for us. Yeah. They'll come find us. No, yeah. 
they are simply of different class structures in Ireland. Mm -hmm. They are referred to as travelers, um, which is the correct term for what most people would refer to very derogatorily as a gypsy, but it is that class of people. Mm -hmm. So not a very wealthy class, etc. Yeah. You get the feeling from the things Orla has said that she is middle class in yeah. Ireland and her family does not want her with a traveler and her brothers are peeved about it and coming to break them up. Yeah. Um so Jamie, while out tending to this cattle, by the way, um, this guy needs some grading, some help with just the rainfall on this farm. Yo, like it I'm was like pipe never it was half up his calf. Yeah. <laughs> All like, the wellies, all the time. System, something. All the wellies, all the time. Um, Jamie gets bit now. He's, well, um, well first, he, first he sees the, the bite marks on the cow. The cow has been bitten up. Bitten into, and now he's walking through the water, and we see something bites him. Yep. And, and he's he goes like, down. And, yeah. And so he gets back to the house. And Mary, and of course, the first thing he wants to do is have sex after getting bitten. No, 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 that's not. <laughs> no. Um, he gets cleaned up. He does allow Mary to clean him up. They are kind of looking for what could it. The three of them decide to go back out, kind of look to see if they can figure out what bit Jamie. Yeah. Um, because Dan's like, well, nothing that could breathe underwater would have been able to bite you. It's very confusing. Um, a local cop comes, we find out, first of all, the cop is a little annoyed that Dan has told those travelers, apparently, um, some travelers have been known apparently to steal from people into the community. And Dan's like, I've got nothing to steal. What? <laughs> and they're on to... my property. Like, why do you care? What is he going to steal from me? Good start. Well, at that point, he wasn't on the property. At that point, he was still in the street. Mm. And Dan's like, this is ridiculous. Just come stay on my property yeah. um, until like, because now he knows why they're there. I'm pretty yeah. sure he probably thought... When you see two people living on the side of a road, granted, you're like, uh, something's probably not on the up and up, or else you'd be at a nice, like... That he frowned That he figures is not on the up and up, but the, the shady doctor guy. Well, that's <laughs> being very picky and choose. He's picky well, and choose. Well, here's the thing. We find out that Orla had introduced him to yeah. the shady doctor dude, and... We know that him and Orla had some sort of history. Yeah. Because he goes, Are you sleeping with him? And he she's like, That's not any of your business. And he's like, Well, it once was. And she was like, Well, I thought you could change. And then she kind of just leaves and then he throws a plate. Yeah. So Orla was the point of contact. So I could understand if he's kind of desperate to save his father's farm because the cop. Small town Ireland, nosy cop, somehow knows all about this man's banking information <laughs> from the bank guy. That's got to be against the law somehow. Yeah. I don't know what law, but I'm sure it's against some sort of law. A couple, a couple, at least. Probably. Um. So we find that out. That that's why he has let this guy on. He's desperate to save the farm. Yeah. We find out. Um. So he's like, just move the truck on. Yeah. Um. And we found Orla's car. We find Orla's car. No, Orla. she had driven. She had driven off the night before. I don't know if we said that. She yeah, like, she had driven she, off, and Dan then realizes he that she had circled back. Mm -hmm. Um, she had left her sweatshirt. He finds it. Um, and they, and that is when. So the three of them are together, and that is when John shows back up. They, him. They all go, oh no, him and Dan go to the testing facility. Um, Jamie and Orla are in their trailer. Um, 
No, Jamie and Mary. Jamie and Mary, sorry. Jamie and Mary are in the their camper getting it on. Um, and Dan is trying to see what um, the doctor has found. And she's like, I need to be alone with my subjects and kind of closes him out. Then Mary, this little guy was looking for a nesting. Oh my God, and- that was such a creepy. <laughs> There's no way it would have got that close to, like, she supposedly, sl- his sex was not that good. I can tell you that right now. She was not past that passed out. <laughs> the right. thing climbs up in the bed. It's like moving the sheets. So it's not just some little thing. It's it's moving the sheets. Yes. With, with, with slimy goop all over it, dragging just crap all in the bed. It gets up to her lady parts before she opens her eyes. And I can tell you that would not be the case. I'd have it would have gotten to my big toe. Toe. That's it. Go. I'm up. I'm up. Because that's not his foot. Right. Not his foot. My foot does not, my husband's foot does not feel like it has skeletons on the outside of it. Good sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> like wet skeletons on the outside. Wet skeletons. <laughs> I know it gets gnarly when I haven't clipped dead toenails in a while, but not that it's gnarly. not like that. Yeah, thanks. Um, so they run and they get Dan, who gets the doctor and the doctor and him come to investigate. And the doctor's like, shit. There were six of these. And now he's even more Island of Dr. Moreau, if I can say that. And he's like, you guys can't leave. I need to shut this whole thing down. Blah, 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 blah. No, good sir. If you were so concerned about the safety, you'd be calling in. I don't know what the term... Uh what everybody SWAT, but you'd be calling SWAT. <laughs> I'd be calling all police, firemen, ambulance, yeah, just SWAT whatever team, hazmat. Yeah. Bring them all. All of them. Right. Uh by the way, I love using Anchor to make our show because it's been super easy. Super easy and free. That part, because we do not have a budget to pay for anything. Remember when we recorded the first episode right onto the website and you were already able to figure out how to edit it? Which was amazing because you know I suck at technology. (laughs) It was impressive. You kind of do, but that's okay. Hey. Uh, (laughs) It's fine. I still love you. But, and then I had to edit an episode for the first time and I was like, oh no, I'm going to mess this all the way up. But it was actually pretty easy. Uh, I love that we can both edit. Right on the website, that's been super helpful when we get thrown for a loop schedule <laughs> changes because that happens tangents in life, just like on the show. Yeah, and I love that they distribute to Spotify, Apple, other podcasts like podcasts. Platforms, yeah, I don't know all of them, but it's a bunch. <laughs> Uh, and we need that because if it were up to us, it would just be on the one platform, which would be Spotify. Uh, when do we start making our money? We already have. There's no minimum listeners. You have to have to start paid sponsorships like this one. What? That's crazy. Um, so we'll be balling soon then, I think. Uh, Hopefully. Since you set us up, oh, yeah, hopefully. hopefully. Oh, we need to get some more more sponsors, more listeners. Uh, but since you set it up, how can other people get their podcast started with Anchor? You go to Anchor FM or download the Anchor app to get started. You can even record right on your phone. Um, Jen and I use Skype because we like to see each other. And then we upload super, super easy. And it makes it easy when we have guests from all across this great I'd love to say land, but we've had international guests so from oh, yeah. all across the this whole Earth. great world of ours. <laughs> Shout out Cape Town. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And, uh, and, yeah, and it just rips the audio right from the video, so we don't even have to worry about that either. Nope. Don't got to worry about a thing. Yeah. Well, that sounds easier than getting chased by a killer in the woods, so. Well, say- it is, especially since I can't run for shit. <laughs> so, go to anchor.fm. Or download the free Anchor app today to get started. And you can be having a podcast 
almost as good as this one. Oh, yeah. Because let me tell you that if the guys in the thing had any way to call in anybody, that would have been phase one of their plan. They just did not. (laughs) They didn't have the option. All the ways. All the ways. So do that. You could have had professionals. Even if you thought quarantine was the solution, you call professionals in to come quarantine you. Yes. How is just the five of you nincoms, four of you nincom poops, for our Liz Day, how is the four of you nincom poops running around this establishment quarantining shit? It's not, because you also, it's a little baby cow thing, so that it can go anywhere. 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 Poor planning. So he's, and he's established that it can infect humans as well, so it's not, not just. No, nope, we're not there yet. I thought he said that already. Nope, not yet. John. And them all go into the barn and they shine the flight the flashlight and Dan goes, well, that's a wall back there. He'd have to come past us again. Dan goes, okay, I'm going to try to wrestle it out and take a tractor through just the deepest marsh of water that has ever. Once again, not a good drainage system. But also has this man not seen what water typically does to an electrical system. (laughs) Not a good look. Not a good look. And he jumps out of his tractor to get back, and he finds Orla's body. Yeah. Um, While they're investigating Orla, they find that this thing has burrowed through her intestines from just whoosh, front to back. Poor Arla. I mean, what a way to die, guys. Yeah. What a way to die. Put it on the list, Jen. Don't uh, yeah. Want no, don't want it. it. Little um, nasty skeleton cow fetuses. You and as he's doing that, he pulls a substance out of Orla's in insides and puts that under the microscope. All of a sudden, he rips out, by the way, just want to say, not the syringe size for a human, y'all. <laughs> Just not. Don't do that. That ain't going to go well. But he does it, and he draws some blood from himself. And Jamie's like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, oh, okay, thank you, doctor. <laughs> doctor Crazy Pants. Yeah, Jamie should be asking, what are you doing? Because you look like a little man sciencey right now. Yeah. You already did, but you're kicking it up a notch now, good sir. And he puts the blood onto the thing and he sees that even that little host particle is replicating with those cells. And he's like, shit. It can. No bueno. No bueno. It can replicate with humans. Fan freaking tastic. Oh, yeah. No, it was just me that assumed by that point I knew. I was like, well, people can get infected, obviously. Like, that, that's right. just always going to be my first assumption. Oh, yeah. I, I did. Think so. <laughs> or you've watched the thing one too many times. Either or, or. Or just enough. Or just enough. Or just enough. Um, I like and, to call those educational films. And he <laughs> says to Jamie that the host wouldn't know it was infected but any of their offspring would be no bueno. Jamie is like, and then he goes, wait, you said you were bitten. Jamie won't take his shoe off. Yeah. And for that, Jamie pays the ultimate price. Bolt gun to the head. Yeah. List it. Don't. Actually, no, bolt gun seems fine. He went mad quick. You know what? Keep as long as I don't see it those. coming. If, right. if it's, if it's, back if I don't see it coming. That's very nice of him. Yeah, back of that's that's nice. fine. And I can't, like, I, I know he's supposed to be a bad guy for that, but I'm like, bro, you were infected. I don't, ah. And you wouldn't show me your foot, so. I don't know. We can't let this go. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying you find it hard to believe he didn't also have a. What's that one that just uh, stops you cold but doesn't kill you? Um, help me. A what? A what? You know, they did it to the... They tried to do it to the croc in uh, 
Lake Placid so that they could transport. Oh, like it. capture it, like. Uh... Yeah, the uh, not a stun gun, a. Um... Oh, tranquilizer. Tranquilizer. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna tell me he doesn't have a tranquilizer gun anywhere? Yeah. Wouldn't tranking him, and then being able to then just kind of tie him up and see what what be a more wouldn't that have been stage one yeah i'm not saying jamie didn't need to die if he was infected <laughs> i'm saying would not have, have been stage one i hear you however that would not have been my first instinct that is a good idea though gotcha just don't know that i would have thought of it but that you are correct that would be actually a better use of someone who has been infected let's figure out but also, if you're a mad scientist, don't you have some, like, safety, like, fallbacks? Uh, this guy. He graduated uh, from, like, from, like, the Bry University. For his experiments. So, you know what? You're right. You're right. <laughs> he went to one of those TV community colleges, so. True. He's yeah. glad Orla's dead, because now he don't gotta pay her, because we found out he wasn't paying He her. wasn't paying anybody. Um, now this man kind of runs around killing every horse. In attempts to fall. Cow. Cow. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Let's put it this way, guys. If it was on that farm, it is dead now. Oh, yeah. it's Yeah, he's going after it. Um, Dan and him get into a huge fight. And Mary thinks that she or she, or she sees. She sees him kill. Attempt Dan. to kill Dan. Yeah. Um, now he's looking for Mary. And he comes across Mary, but he also comes across the creature. And the creature is done with John. <laughs> and uh, I got to tell you, that was one of the best jump scares of the movie. Because you don't see the creature until the creature is flying at John. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just like, ripping dude, at it. Dude, you are 20, less than 24 hours old. How is your jump radius? Jump, that, right? right? LeBron's killing for that kind of jump radius. I mean, shoot. I guess when you're just bones. Speaking of Tom Brady, nobody wanted you back. Go back into retirement. I know gas right? prices are so high, excited. but this ain't it, bro. <laughs> Tom Brady's like, damn, I got to pay for gas for all these cars. I better play <laughs> another season. So, so yeah. So, um, finally, the doctor is dead. Um, now it's just Mary and Dan left. And Dan and her manage to kill everything um oh when she did the bolt to the cow i was like close your mouth close your mouth she, close your mouth like she wasn't closing her mouth like you're dealing with infection here why is your mouth not always closed to be fair mary didn't know you could be infected no I, I, that's, that's my mouth would was. still be closed but i'm just saying of the four people on the property, she was the only but, one who didn't know that. But I'm not, not even that infection, any infection. Like we said before, right, no, it's I, an animal blood. Like, close your I, mouth. I agree. Even if it, it were okay, human. Because Mary's already infected. Yeah, yeah well. I mean, at what point in the movie did you know she was pregnant? When they showed the sex scene. Right, exactly. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was okay, like, okay, I was okay. like, well, yeah, well, she's having an infected baby. Yeah, you we were like, oh, that just happened. Um. And then to drive the point home, he had to say, and any offspring they would have, and you're like, yep. Well, that's if her. I wasn't sure before, I am now. Yeah. Um, Saw that coming. So, and then pot of boiling water seemed to have done the trick, and Mary wants to take Dan off the farm with her, but Dan knows that he is infected, and he stays behind and just passes on his farm. We don't really see it, but we know. Yeah. He's just like, yeah. Leave me. Leave me. Um, and then we fast forward four months and we see Mary at her doctor's appointment, which apparently she has expressed cause for concern to the doctor that something is wrong. The doctor says, no, you have a beautiful baby girl. Um, unless Super Ma healthy. <laughs> unless Mary has already done blood testing. No, no, you don't. You have a beautiful fetus because you don't know what it is. You have a beautiful birth. thing of bones. That's yeah, it. at four months, you do not know what you have yet. I mean, but maybe you did the blood test, so I'm not going to be that person. Um, but it's a uh, horror movie, so we know. But also, blood tests wouldn't have shown up any. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Have uh, sex with any animals? Any parents? <laughs> Just wondering. Is that a hoof on you, you your child? Face? 
eh, have you been near a Zika country? <laughs> oh, just asking. Okay. Uh, so, but as they pan to the video of the ultrasound, you see the creature in her belly. Which I'd like to go on. If that was inside of me, I think I would know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like, yes. Mary is right to be concerned. I'd be like, just take it, please. Um, so how did you feel about this movie? Uh, it was, I, it was enjoyable. I would say I'd probably give it five out of ten. It's worth a watch. It's worth a watch. It's a fine creature feature. Yeah. It was not- highbrow you kind of know what was coming but yeah and then the kill like the minimal cast so not a lot of kills again and we don't even see like orla's death like all right so oh but we have some and it ain't good yeah it's not good but it's enjoyable it's worth the watch uh yeah like i said five out of ten how about you yeah i i would yeah I mean, I didn't have to pay any money to see it. <laughs> I don't know if they had charged me to watch this, if I might feel differently. But it was yeah. on the Roku channel for free. So if you have that channel, go yeah. ahead. Or TV. It's also on TV. Does everybody have the Roku channel for yeah, free? Yeah, so you, you can get a Roku account and watch the Roku channel. You don't have to have. Oh. You don't have to have a Roku. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. If that's wrong, that's what the last thing that I checked. If that's wrong, let us know. Uh, we will yeah. stop passing off false information. Right. Um, yes, when TV. we say let us know, it'd be Chris or Joel, our two constant <laughs> listeners. Please let us know. Yeah, and um, what gonna say? Yeah, I wasn't mad I watched it. I would have liked to have seen the creature a little bit more. Like, it was kind of... Better. It was yeah. always coming very quickly. You couldn't really see it. Yeah, and like when she was killing it, stabbing it, you just saw like kind of dark... I would like to see more of it just because of how it was described. And what you could see, it was like, oh, man, I want to see what that looks like. Like the teeth part. Oh, oh, the teeth part did. Not bueno. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I liked it. I thought it was decent. It was a fun one for uh, for the show. Yeah. And like I said, if you like a creature feature, it's good. Definitely. Um, What are we doing next time? Next week is Lights Out. Lights Out, yes. Lights Out on HBO Max. Sounds good. We are excited. Um, yes. um, originally, April was going to be our small or independent, I film. should say, movie filmmaker month. Uh, then Jen and I realized um, that we have Texas Frightmare, which means yours truly, since I'm going away, I'm working every Sunday except Easter to make up for the time I'm taking off. Um, so that just makes booking with people very yeah. uh, cumbersome. So we're pushing that till June. Yeah. Plus, um, we want to have time to get to find the indie movies and get good ones. Right. So we're not if rushing. If you'd like to submit yours, please, horrorindies.com. Oh, please send us a little. Or our Instagram. Yeah, or Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Yep. Um, and I think that is all. Yeah, so we got lights out, and then the next week for uh, April Fool's, we're doing April Fool's Day, which neither of us have seen, so. And we're praying it comes on streaming before that. (laughs) Yes. We're rolling the dice on that. Yeah. Um, But I think you said we could get it on Prime for $4 or something, Something right? Yeah, everything's on Prime for like $2 to $3, so. I mean, Prime's got some nerve, though. I know. The movie came like it's out. an eighties movie. Like, can you? It shouldn't be over a dollar. Ninety nine cents for every eighties movie. 80s movie. Like, yes. I'll pay one ninety nine for nineties. <laughs> As the and two ninety nine from anything from two thousand to two thousand and twenty. Okay, that's that's the <laughs> that's, budget I'm willing that's to work. That's what I'm doing. Right, because Bezos, you don't need another blimp. You don't need another. <laughs> You're good, bro. You're good. You're good. I'm not mad at you. Good business. By the way, just a quick question. Um, when you asked that question about the Marvelous Miss Maisel, which I'm not going to repeat the question because it is a little spoiler, and I answered it, Amy Sherman Palladino, were you, did you not realize this was an Amy Sherman Palladino? No, I know. I oh, just, okay. No, okay. I, I don't think about it all the time, but when you oh. said it, I was like, ah, yes, that's right. This is one okay. of the shows that like, tracks. I was like, no, because the Catskill season alone didn't no, say Amy Sherman Because I usually Palladino. don't like her stuff. Right. So and I love, but I love Mrs. Maisel. But every now and then I get the, I get her style in there, and I'm like, ah, yes, 
I remember this is her. This is her stuff. So this is hers. That and that scene definitely reminded me that it was her. I was like, yeah, oh, no, Lord. I, mm, yeah. Uh, gotta be honest. You gotta give it to her. She is a woman who stays very loyal to her because now we have Chris Eichenberg in this season of Maisel, and he was on Gilmore Girls. Okay. I have heard good rumor that Miss Grandma Gilmore. Miss Emily, Miss Emily Gilmore is coming to the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. So, all right, I know nothing about Gilmore Girls, so I... oh, she. Well, okay. Well, I, I can guess by what you said, Grandma. <laughs> obviously, yeah, but she, okay. But I'll tell you who the actress is, and I feel so bad because I always forget her name. But it is the mom in Dirty Dancing. Oh, that's cool. Another Catskills. Uh... Another Catskills. Right? Another Catskills yeah. person. Do you know the place that they stayed in the Catskills in the Marvelous Miss Maisel? We could we could rent a cabin there. It's... I know. I uh, I want to go so badly. I want to go. They make the Catskills look so fun. Yeah. Well, except for the abject racism back in the timeline. That well, they... that's why I would just buy it and right. <laughs> redo it. I would totally buy it and then make it like the 40s style and like have everything like that yeah and uh make it open for everybody everybody uh, <sighs> but anyway yeah so lights out next week on hbo max it's a fun one i've seen it alicia has not yeah so i'm excited so it'll be fun and then we'll let you know what our choices are after april fools so yeah Woo! this was a good good this was a good one good episode yeah all right y'all Bye. Later. Later.